asking for the object. Right? We are all good at registering and remembering. When it comes to recalling, we fail. Right? Again, as this word was used even by the MC while he was addressing us. I fail to recall. And I like that statement because never ever use the word forget. Don't say I have forgotten, I forget. No. Because when you say I forget, there's no chance for you to improve. But when you say I fail to recall, there's an opportunity for me to work on my memory cells so that I can get back, retrieve whatever I want. Correct? Your verb? Yeah. Number six clock. Number six clock. Yes, ma'am. Number five, remember. Number five? Remember. Remember. Five is remember. She's saying remember. To remember. <coughs> right? Yeah. Number three, book. Number three is book. <coughs> Fine. I take some time because it has to be registered, right? Next. Number nine, Ayurveda. Number nine, Ayurveda. Yes? Number four, vacation. Number four, vacation. <coughs> number one, number eight, one minute, one minute. We'll go by order. We'll come back to you. Yes. <coughs> yes, please. Number seven, soft toy. Number seven is? Soft toy. Top toy. Soft, 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 soft toy. toy. Soft toy. Toy. Number seven is soft toy. <laughs> Yes? Number one stethoscope. Number one stethoscope, right? I hope he you knows the spelling, you help him with the spelling if he doesn't you know. One stethoscope. Yes? Two trampoline. Two? Trampoline. What is trampoline? Once we jump, jump. Kids jump on. Kids jump on. Trampoline. That's Trampoline, yes. Okay. We'll give everyone an option, right? Don't worry. Number 10, traffic. Number 10, traffic. <coughs> yes? Number 8, car. 8 is already done. I think it's 11. Okay. 18. 18. 18. Car. Car. Number 11, Britannia. Number 11, Britannia. Number 11, Britannia, right? 18 is car. Fine. Yeah? Which one? 12 is chalk piece. Yes? Number 24, no one is Number 24, Novak Djokovic. Fine. One minute, one minute, sir. One minute. Yeah. Number 24, right? Yeah, 24, Djokovic. Yeah. Number 27, Clash Dog. Number 27? Clash <laughs> Dog. <laughs> what is that? Clash <laughs> Dog. Clash Dog. Clash Dog. Clash Dog. AK-47, AK-47 is better. Don't give me words, remember, don't give me words which I cannot imagine, which I cannot okay. picture. AK-47 is AK-47 is fine. AK-47, 27. Seven, right? Seven. 27 is AK-47. Yes. yes. Number 21 is coffee. 21 is coffee. Yeah. Number 22, Jasmine. Number 22, Jasmine. Yes? Uh, 15, microphone. 15 is microphone. Yeah, yes sir. <coughs> yeah? Number 13, that's the number. Mr. Gopal. <laughs> 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 is it just is in a hurry? Yeah. Number 15. Yeah. Number 15. Number 16, girl child. Number 16, girl child. Specifically, yes. 
Number eight. eight. Yesterday was Women's Day. Yeah. Number twenty mobile phone. Number twenty mobile phone. Yes. Number twenty-five chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> Number twenty-five is chat GPT. All the new names, right? <laughs> Remember, I have to pictureize that and again align it with the number. Twenty-five is chat GPT. Number thirty for me too. Oh, one minute. Is it these Twenty-nine, Neptune. 29 is Neptune. Neptune. Black, uh, planet, one of the planets, yeah? Number 29. Okay, one minute. One minute. <laughs> Let me register it. Otherwise, I cannot recall it. It's not just one component. There are three components to memory and registering, remembering, and recall. Right? Yeah. Number, 20 Number 29 is Neptune. Yes. Number 23, Mulberry Plantation. Mulberry Plantation. Number 23 is Mulberry Plantage. Yeah, now it's your turn. <laughs> Number 13, Duster. Number 13 is Duster, right? Yeah. Number 19, Cognitive. Cognitive. He's testing my cognitive skills. 19, Cognitive. Yes, sir. Number 30, Bottle. Ah, oh, which bottle? <laughs> 30 bottle, yes. 30 bottle, yes. Bottle. You are not, I mean, uh, leaving any blank numbers there. Anyway, 30 is bottle, yes. No number, 28. 28. 28 is what? No number. No number. No word. No word. Yeah? No number. Over? You want to add some more? No number is the word. Yeah? No number is the word. I know. 28 is no number, right? 28. Yes, sir. 14 jam. 14 jam. Bread jam. Yes. 17 tiger. 17 is tiger. Tiger. Normally they do it 1 to 30. Everywhere else, if you witness, I'm taking it separately because I'm trying to work on my own memory cells, right? Number 17 is tiger, correct? Yeah. Number 26, wife. 26, wife. <laughs> right now he's thinking about his wife. <laughs> Mr. Gopal Krishna Higde was talking about girl child, right? Wife. Number 26. Right. Yeah? 13 is over. 13 is over. 13 is over. Well, I think uh, we will give chance to the rest of the three also. Why should we? I mean, uh, not next, next, next 33. You can write them on top. 33. 32 milk. 32 is milk. Yes, 31. 31 Uttishtha. Uttishtha. 33. 33 Masal Dosa. Masal Dosa. Everybody is worried about what he or she wants, right? Okay. Let me try to remember. If I am not able to remember, I will ask you for the words, okay? What is that? Uh, in the garden, you said children play with. What is that instrument? Trampoline. Trampoline. That is a two. Doing it after a long time, so let me. Number four, is that your father? Vacation. Vacation, yes. Right. 
12 chokpis 12 is chokpis in the meantime you can memorize Nineteen? Cognitive. 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 See, the, those are not objects. Right? So it becomes difficult for me to associate. Nineteen is cognitive. Twenty. No, no, no. Don't tell me unless. Let me wreck my brains. Twenty-three is that some forest twenty-three? Twenty-three. Yeah. Right. Mulberry plantation. Mulberry plantation. Fine. Twenty-five. Chat. 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 Again. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight? No, 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 again, no, 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 you can ask me, shoot the numbers, I'll tell you the objects. I was doing the remembering part, right? Initially I registered, now, I, now I'm going to recall. This is what we need to strengthen. Recalling is what we have to strengthen. Whether it is speaking or whether it's writing an exam, it's your recalling ability is what is, determines your success. Not whether you are remembered, not whether you registered. No one knows whether you remembered or registered, right? Okay. Ask me the number, I give you the object. 22. 22 is Jasmine. Jasmine, 31. 31 is Milk. Oh, uh, man, uh, sorry, Uthista. That's your object. 6. Number 6, number six is uh, Clock. Yeah. 10. 10 is uh, Traffic. 24. 24 is Novak Jogut. Britannia. Britannia 11. Everybody is worried about their object. <laughs> 32. 32 is milk. 23. 23 is uh, mulberry plantation. 26. 26 is wife. His wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 29. 29 is Neptune. Marriage. Car is 18. Jam. Which number is bottom? Which number 30? 5. Yeah? 5. 5 is. Remember. <laughs> That's what she said. Remember that you'll forget. 15? <laughs> 15. 15 is microphone. 14. 14 is jam. 35. 35, not, not at all then. Ayurveda. <laughs> <laughs> Ayurveda is 9. Which number is book? 3. Cognitive. Cognitive is a number which I placed on. It is no picture as such. Cognitive. 25? No. no? Yes, cognitive, which number is that? 19. 19, yeah. Yes. 28. 28. <coughs> yeah. 25, 28, I have not been able to register correctly. 28 is? 
No, no, no. There's nothing. That's the problem. I need an object to pictureize. If there's nothing to pictureize, I am not able to recall. Number so memory works on pictureization. Pictures. Number Pictures. seven. Number seven is that some toy car he said? Soft toy. Soft toy. Soft toy. Ball? Yeah? One. There's no ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Number nine. Number nine is Ayurveda. Number twelve. Number twelve is uh, chalk piece. Twenty-five. It's repeating. Sometimes people are repeating. Yeah? We are repeating. Twenty-five. Number four? Twenty-five have lost. What is twenty-five? Chinese. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-five is Chinese. Yes. And then number four. Number four is uh, that's what he said. What was that? Again, four again I've lost. Vacation. vacation. Because I cannot visualize that. Vacation. It's all in the visualization. Yeah. Vacation. Yeah. <coughs> Sir? Neptune. Neptune is 29. 24. 20? 4. 4 is uh, Novak Djokovic. 25. 25, just now we asked me. Chinese. <laughs> yeah. You want me to repeat all the objects? Right from 1 to 33 or 33 to 1? 33 to 1. 33 to 1. So more, the more trouble I am put into, the more you enjoy, right? Send it to me. Send it to me. I, I understand that. It varies from person to person. Everybody has some kind of sense. Okay? Let me try. 33 is masala dosa. 32 is milk. 31 is Uddhista, 30 is bottle, 29 is Neptune, 28 is no number, right? Correct? 27 is that AK-47, 26 is wife, 25 is Chad JPT, 24 is Novak Djokovic, 23 is that mulberry plantation, 22 is Jasmine, 21 is coffee, no one asked me coffee, right? No one probably wants coffee. 20 is mobile, no one asked me again that. 19 is uh, cognitive skills, okay? 18 is car, 17 is tiger, nobody asked me that. 16 again is girl child, Mr. Gopalakrishna Hegde, nobody asked me that. 15 is microphone, 14 is jam. 13 is Dasta, 12 is Chalk Piece, 11 is Britannia, right? And then 10 is Traffic, 9 is Ayurveda, 8 is Bat, the very first object, 7 is that toy, whatever toy <laughs> that is, <laughs> 6 is Clock, 5 is Remember, 4 is Vacation, 3 is book, 2 is uh, again that play, play in trampoline, and number 1, nobody asked me again, is stethoscope. <laughs> I can go on, I mean, I only require time to. Register, remember and record, right? All of you also can do it, right? How is it done first? You register the object and let me tell you how it's done. So that let me explain. Every one of the numbers here has a picture for me. There's a picture just like you have, what do you call in your offices, in your homes, you have a filing cabinet. Anything that you give me, I put it in the right spot, right slot. So when you ask me, I'll pick it up from there. Like in a library, you number the books and keep the books accordingly. So you tell me the number, I can pick up the book. Right? You give me the book name, I can pick up the number. So that is how you can have a mental filing system in your mind. Where you don't require it. And the more you do it, the better it is for your cognitive skills. And not only that, it, you will never it doesn't matter. Your age really doesn't matter. 
if I can do it at this age, I think all of you can do it much better at your age, especially youngsters, provided you know the art of doing it. So there's a picture for each one of the numbers that are written on the board. What I do is I take your picture and place that picture on the picture that I already have in my mind, right? So whenever you ask me the number, I will look at the picture. What did I place on that picture? And I'll retrieve it. It's just like, you know, mental filing system, you retrieve from a cabinet, right? <coughs> whatever files you want, whatever objects you want, you can retrieve. That is why memory is a discipline. Unless you're disciplined, you cannot be good at memory, right? Very often you keep your, I mean, shoes in one place and you forget where you kept them because there is no particular place for the shoe. So in your house, you, there's a place for the towel, there's a place for your watch, there's a place for your blazer, there's a place for your shoes as well. You don't displace this or replace this. Every day, you keep them in the same place. So then it helps to retrieve the object very easily. Memory is a discipline. You cannot become excellent at memory unless you're disciplined. Right? Registration. So that is why find a particular place where you can always... This, this, is, this system of memorizing is called pegging. <coughs> Not this pegging. <laughs> it's a peg. Every number is a peg, is a hook on which I place your object so that I can retrieve from that picture whatever you want. If you give me the picture, I'll give you the number. If you give me, the, I can remember for as long as I want to remember all this. If it is not essential for me, as soon as I walk out of this room, I can erase my entire memory state. I don't need to carry this, right? Home. There are better things that I can put in my memory cells rather than this. This is only to demonstrate to you, this is called instant memory. How you can develop instant memory. Memory in the moment. Especially when people are making speeches and you don't have any writing pad or pen, you have to make those points, jot those points. Mentally you can jot the points. Number one, two. Against one, this point. Against two, this he talked one, determination, two, I mean uh, concentration, three, he talked about uh, passion. So all those points you can write down in your memory and go back home and jot them down against those, right? That means you remember the entire speech. So this is one way of memorizing. You want to try it? You want to develop it? You get number to object mapping. Object to object mapping. Object to? Object mapping. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Uh, that there's another method. We are going, I'm going to I mean, make you do that. Object to object, right? Right? You want to do this method or you want to do the other one which is easier for all of you to do together? <coughs> Choice is yours. You want to try this? Yes. What is the time that I have? Can I know the time please? Yeah? 30 minutes over. 30 minutes over. So I have another 30 minutes. I think I can make you do a quick exercise. Okay, one of you can give me the objects. Any one of you who is not trying, who is not going to do the exercise, please write, give me the objects from 1 to 10. I'll make you do it from 1 to 10. Okay? So that you understand that it can be extended to any extent. You can, you can go up to 500, you can go up to 1000 as well. Right? It does not matter. I'll tell you. Okay. Number only for that, I am not going to give you pictures because each one of these numbers are different pictures that takes a lot of time for you to, I mean, pictureize them. I am going to give you a nursery rhyme which you have come across. One run, okay, two zoo, three tree, four door, five hide, six sticks, seven heaven, eight gate, nine wine, ten dead. Okay, write down only ten objects. Okay, fine, close your eyes, please. First, memorize these. What is one? Yeah. All of you together. One? Yeah. So whenever I give you an object against one, imagine that object running. Right? When I give you an object against two, what are you going to do? Two? Zoo. Imagine that the object is in the zoo. Right? Three is tree. Four is door. Please say that. Please say that. Number four. Number four. Five. Hide. Be high. Six. 
Quick, quick, six, six seven, 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 eight, 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 nine, one, one five, ten, ten. Eight, Once again, number one, run, run, run. two, 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 two three, 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 four, two, two, five, 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 six, 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 six seven, seven, eight, 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 you write down the object 1 to 10 whatever you can conceive of and then you tell me the object and tell them what it is okay now you, have you got the original pictures 1 to 10 yeah. your original pictures have given you already these are the pictures against which you are going to play the objects that she is going to give us is that okay are you all with me yes sir will you do the exercise yes yeah. unless you work on your memory cells it's not going to improve it's one thing to listen to a lecture, it's another to do the exercise itself. I'm making you do it in a very short time. In fact, they charge a ransom to teach you how to improve memory techniques. Right? Okay. One, close your eyes. One, the best way to, I mean, look at these pictures is closing your eyes because when you close your eyes, you're shutting out all outside distractions. You are referring your mental blackboard. There is a board inside your mind. Okay? Right. What is he is writing? Yeah. Have you written the 10 objects? Once you finish 10 yes. objects, you let me know. Yeah. 1. Run. Rest of you. 2. two three, three, three. 4. Two, 5. five six, 6. 7. seven eight, 8. 9. Eight, 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 10. Okay. What is number 1? Wait, wait, wait. Now you know the original pictures. He's going to give us the objects that you have to place against these pictures. What is number one, man? Quick, quick, quick. Uh, toy. Toy. So in your mind, imagine, close your eyes, picture eyes. Unless you picture eyes, you will not get it. Imagine the toy running. Or you're giving Chavi and the toy is running. Right? You must see it in action. The more you see it in action, the more your ability to recall. Yes. Number two? Zoom. No, wait, wait. Not Banana. that. That's your original picture. Banana. Yeah? Banana. What is that? Banana. 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 Chach, chach. Number two is banana. Number two is zoo. Imagine all the monkeys eating bananas. Right? Yeah. Number three? Chalk. Chalk. Three is? Three. What is three? Three. three? three. Imagine that all the trees are made of chalk pieces. Right? Chalk pieces. Fix your gaze on that. Yeah, number four. Deer. Deer. Four is door. Door. Uh, deer is pushing the door and opening the door. Running out of the door. Right. Number five. Car. Car. Number five is car. Five is deer. What is five? Hive. Okay. Imagine a car running on a beehive and all the bees are flying. Okay. Some of the bees are stinging you as well. So that you will remember. When you see it in action, you will, when you feel it, you will recall it better. Yeah, number six? Dosa. dosa. Masala dosa. Six is sticks. Right? Sticks. Masala dosas with sticks. You are eating with sticks. Right? Chopsticks. Remember. <laughs> the Chinese eat with chopsticks. Yeah, seven. Pen. Seven is pen. Seven is heaven. heaven. <laughs> right? All, I mean, people in heaven are writing with their pens, okay? They're writing whatever they want. Ram, Om Ram, or Ram, Namah Shivaya, whatever they want. Just yesterday we had Shivaratri, right? Yeah, number eight? Pool. Pool. Yeah, swimming pool. Swimming pool. Number eight is swimming pool. Eight is? Gate. You open the gate, you see a beautiful swimming pool, you dive into it. Right? You feel the coolness of water. Number nine? Scale. Scale. <laughs> number nine is wine. Right? You're measuring... Uh, how much of wine you have drunk, okay? <laughs> With a scale. Like you said bottle, 30. Right? Is it a big bottle or is it a pot pot? <laughs> Measure it with a scale. Number 10? Box. Box. Number 10 is box. 10 is den. Den, I mean the den full of boxes. Imagine that all the tigers and lions are living inside the boxes in a den. Okay? Okay, what is number one? Now you can... Number one, what is the original picture? Run. What did you associate it with? Number two? 
Banana. Number three. Chocolate. Number four. Beef. Yeah. Number five. Five. Number six. Masala. Number seven. Pen. Number eight. Are they right? If they're wrong, let me know. Number eight. Swimming. Number nine. Skates. Number ten. Box. Number nine. Skates. Number four. Chapis. 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 Number one. Toy. Toy. Number nine. Skates. Skates. Number six. Masadosa. Number seven. Pen. 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 Can you see how you can do it? The more you do it, the more sharp your memory becomes. Right? You do it on a regular basis. Overnight your memory improves and if your wife gives you a shopping list, you don't have to write it down. You can, otherwise, I mean, very, very often you may miss, miss the shopping list. You may lose the shopping list and uh, get cursed. So instead, play, uh, write them in your memory sheet. Go home, I mean, go to the shop. Mall and then, yeah? <laughs> so, you can use it for, I mean, remembering speeches. For example, if you are not allowed, in the Toastmasters, you may not be allowed to carry chits, right? You have points. You have 10 points, okay? Ten, normally, every speech has only 3 points. Do you require to write down 3 points? No. Now, when you can remember 10 points so easily, correct? This is called pegging. That is, you are placing that particular object onto a number, which can be retrieved anytime you want. You ask me these objects until I go out of this room, I will give you the objects. Because I am going to retain it only until then. It's always better to forget whatever is not required. So as soon as I go out, I will take another fresh 30 objects. I may not work on the same. Right? So that is how good you are at memory. There is another mem system of memory that I will talk to you about. That is called linking method of memory. You can do it in a short time. Okay? Close your eyes and just do this exercise. This is called linking and this can be applied. I will tell you where to apply. Close your eyes please. Imagine and visualize that you are walking through a jungle. As you are walking through the jungle and wonder, you are walking through a jungle. As you are walking through the jungle, you find that there is a marriage taking place. Jungle and marriage. You enter this marriage hall, instead of giving you a coconut, they give you a big mango. Can you imagine the mango? Right? And you want to see what is inside this mango. You don't have the regular scissors. You cut it open with a knife. Okay? Cut open this mango with knife or scissors, whichever you want to. And once you cut open, you find that gold coins are falling out. You eat these gold coins, one of them gets stuck in your throat, and the throat starts paining. You look for a doctor. The doctor is uh, from the Middle East. Imagine that the doctor is coming towards you on a camel. On a camel. He's from the Middle East, right? In Sahara Desert. Okay, now I'll ask you questions from the beginning. Keep your eyes closed. Answer the questions in one single voice. Don't open your eyes until I ask you to open them. Because as, as long as you refer to your mental blackboard, your memory will grow. Otherwise, no. Where were you in the beginning? Jungle. What was taking place in the jungle? Marriage. What did they give you in the marriage? Marriage. What did you cut it with? Knife or scissors, yeah. What fell out of it? Where did it get stuck? Who did you call after that? Doctor, Doctor came on a camel. Okay. We continue this visualization process for some more time. You see him coming on a camel and that he's reading also in big newspaper. There's a big, big newspaper in his mind. Close your eyes. If you open your eyes, you cannot visualize it. Right? Imagine visualize. Yeah. So you see that he's reading a big newspaper and inside the newspaper you find Vijay Malia's food. <laughs> right? And when you think of Vijay Malaya, what happens? Next, your mind goes to his airlines. Right? You imagine Vijay Malaya next in an airplane. Can you see Vijay Malaya in an airplane? Yes. yes. Now, you also enter this airplane and you find all the passengers are monkeys. <laughs> Among these monkeys, there's a girl too. The girl that uh, Mr. Gopal Krishna Igde was talking about. <laughs> girl child, right? A girl too. Girl gets scared and she talks about, she shouts out, police. Can you hear her screams, police, police? Yes. yes. And the police enter this airplane with torches in their hands because it's so dark in the airplane, right? They enter with torches 
and one of the torches falls and the entire aeroplane goes for an explosion. Okay? I'll ask you questions from the beginning again. Don't open your eyes and mental refer your mental blackboard and answer the questions. Where were you in the beginning? Jungle. jungle. Don't change the words. Jungle. What was taking place in the jungle? Marriage. What did they give in the marriage? Marriage. What did you cut it with? Marriage. What fell out of it? Marriage. Where did you get stuck? Marriage. Whom did you call after that? Doctor. Doctor came on. What was he reading? Marriage. Whose photograph was in the newspaper? Marriage. Where did you see Vijay Mala next? Marriage. Who were the passengers of this aeroplane? Marriage. Among these monkeys there were also? Marriage. And the girl got scared and she shouted? Police, Police came with what? Torches. One of the torches and fell and what happened? Explosion. Now can you refer your mental blackboard and see how many words you remember in just not even in 2-3 minutes? Just count the number of words. I don't want the story. I only want the words. As you are doing, you are referring to mental blackboard. How many words? Sixteen. Exactly. Who said that? Perfect. Sixteen words. Now where do you use this? Monkey, donkey, jungle, bing, business. Right? Especially if you have a theoretical subject. Right? And you want, you have to remember the entire subject. How do you remember? It's very difficult. <coughs> Theory boring. Right? So what you do is each paragraph has a central point. Each paragraph has a central point. You take the central points and connect the central points by means of a story and I am able to recall the entire chapter, right? If there are 16 paragraphs in a chapter, 16 points you have, you remember the 16 points by means of a story and if in the exam you get a question stating right all about the jungle, you are given 16 points. 16 points, so the examiner will give you 16 out of 16. But generally, how do we answer the question paper? We will write, King Ashoka was great. Great was King Ashoka. Ashoka was a great king. <laughs> we remember only one point. And use direct speech, indirect speech, passive voice, active voice. Same, same point. Keep on repeating it. So if you have this method, this is called linking method of memorizing. If you have too many points to remember, remember by link them by means of story any time you can read. And this story I can repeat it any time of the day. Middle of the night you wake me up, 20 years, even in my grave you wake me up and tell, ask me to tell you the story, I'll give you the story. Those 16 points. Because the story, it looks like, even most of you must have felt it looks like you're born with this story. Correct? That's how powerful stories are to remember. Right? This is called linking method of memorizing. Now, let me tell you the different techniques of memorizing. There are three methods of memorizing. These are one is called, the first one is called ingenious methods. The ingenious methods are, especially for people like us, no? who cannot, what do you call them? Remember things, people who are aged, people who have bad, weak memory. These ingenious methods help us. Ingenious methods are pegging, linking, right? Pegging, linking and there's a third one which is called mnemonics. You know what are mnemonics? If you want to remember a long statement, you can abbreviate it and remember the abbreviation. If not for Vib Gayor, we would not have remembered the seven colors of light in that order. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow and orange and red, right? If not for that Vib Gayor. So similarly, if you are a medical student, Every, I mean, uh, this bone, this fist bone, right, has eight, I mean, this wrist has eight <coughs> bones. How do you remember the eight bones? Any medical student here? They remember, yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, the, the best way to remember, she's too pretty, try to catch her. The first letters of each one of the words in that sentence represents the names of the bones, the eight bones, right? Uh, another, I mean for people who, want, who are into astrology, Rahu Kala, if you want to know, when is it? Mother saw father wearing the turban. 
mother monday socks s saturday friday so you start from 7:30 to 9, 9. monday it is mother saw father monday 7:30 to 9 saturday 9 to 10:30 saw father friday 10:30 to 12 mother saw father wearing the turban w is wednesday wednesday is 12 to 1:30 and the turban the is th th is thursday thursday it is 1:30 to 3 and then last one is tuesday turban it starts with tuesday tuesday is again 3 to 4:30 the remaining day is sunday sunday is 4:30 to 6 simple can you see <laughs> All the days, just all one and a half hours difference every now. Starting from 7:30, right? Mother saw father wearing the turban, right? You have this is called mnemonic techniques, right? Then you also have what is called this judicious method of memorizing. The, all these form the ingenious methods. These are ingenious methods. That is begging, linking, uh, linking and mnemonics, right? We have. The other one is called judicious. Judicious methods are where you apply scientific logic. Right? Judicious method. If this is so, this has to be this. Correct? Scientific. There, there we use what is called as the five wives, one husband theory. The five wives are what, where, when, why, whom. And the one husband is Ask the question, any of these questions in science, you'll get the answer. Right? Why is that there is a, uh, I mean, a gap between two rail lines? All of us know. Why? Because in summer, iron expands. That's why they leave a gap between two rail lines. They don't fit them together. And then why is it that you hear, uh, I mean, uh, the thunder after you see the lightning? Lightning. Just ask questions. You get the answers, right? All scientific subjects can be answered by these five wives, one husband here. And the next, the, the last method of improving your memory is called the mechanical method. Some of us indulge in that, especially for speeches. We indulge, we keep on reproducing, practicing, practicing, practicing. What I do is when I have a written script, and if the script, if I don't want to miss out any word from the script, because I love my words, sometimes I use words which I love to use, I don't want to miss out. What I do is first I memorize the first line, then I go to the second line, connect the second line and first line together, memorize, then go to the third line, memorize the third line along with the first, second and third, go to the fourth, the entire script is, that is called cramming or by heart. Mechanical method of memorize so these are the three techniques okay to improve your method i mean memory right how do you improve your visualization technique like for example i told you registrations how much time do i have 11 minutes 11 more minutes very good now how do i improve my registration whenever i want to remember anything how do i improve my registration method I told you there are three components to memory development. What is one? Next one is remembering. Next one is recall. This is what is more important because your exams. You know that is why every I mean school has a terminal exam. What are they doing? They're preparing you for the final exam. Recalling. They're improving your recalling. First term exam. Your memory improves. Second term exam they conduct again. Final exam is done at the end. So what are they doing? They are trying to improve this part of your memory. You may be good at this, but when it comes to this, very often we fail. Very often I know certain things, I am not able to bring it up. Like he said in the MCs, while he was talking, he said, I failed to recall. He, he knows, he knows that, but he is not able to bring it up. So this gets strengthened by answering more exams. By speaking more number of times to an audience, your ability to recall improves. Correct? It's not easy. 
I mean, don't think it is. It's, a, it's not magical. Magic can happen if you do it on a regular basis. Not don't think that it is theory. If it's theory, I mean, you can read a book and get get it. That doesn't matter. How do I improve my registration? Visualize. Yeah, visualize it. For that, here associate. And so this is called. This is this improves by associating what I want to remember with something which I already know. All memory remember is associating what you want to know with what you already know. Otherwise, I can't recall anything. I want to remember anything. All registration, right? When I say, when I give you the word apple, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? The first apple that you saw, correct? Is the actual picture that comes to your mind when I say apple? It's just a word, apple. But why do you think of the picture? Right? That means I'm associating this word with that picture. When I say orange, yes, I mean uh, memory shifts to the orange. The word is different. This word associates with that object. Can you see the picture of orange? So that means all memory is associating what I want to know with what I already know. If you give me Chinese language, I won't be able to understand. Xing Shang Chu, I won't understand because I cannot associate with anything. Correct? So registration happens only when I know. That's why I said, give me something that has a picture. If you say cognitive, I cannot imagine. Right? Cognitive is so, I mean, uh, what do you call it? Theory. I cannot imagine. So this improves, my registration improves if my association is one is connect with what you know. Another is it should be wild. The wilder, the weirder your association, the better is your ability to remember. Especially if it is very, very important that you want to remember. Connect it with the most wild thing, unimaginable. Men and boys know what to do. Right? They always associate with. I will not tell you. You can imagine yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right? If they want to remember something very important, they. Of course, in uh, Toastmasters parlors, we can't talk about it. Right? <laughs> always associate with something which is wild, which is out of proportion. Out of proportion. If you say mango, you may forget. You say a big mango. Then you get a mango. Correct? You will not forget. And then how do you strengthen this? Here comes visual after my registration. Every now and then I have to visualize that object. Here this gets strengthened by visualizing more often. As you were giving me the objects, I was trying to visualize those objects. Can you see? And also while talking. I was doing two things. Normally, the person who records the objects doesn't talk. I was doing this also simultaneously. That means I'm able to concentrate on what is happening, also trying to associate what I want to remember. Correct? So remembering by constantly visualizing that. As I was talking to you, I was visualizing what was against 14? Jan. What was against 16? Girl. What was against 18? Car. As I was talking to you, I was visualizing that. Right? So that's how you can strengthen your remembering. Get strengthened by visualizing. Picturize that object. Now, how does this get strengthened? That component of memory? Recalling. By? Recalling. Recalling, correct. By writing exams, by speaking. The best is by repeating. It is called repetition. The more the number of times you repeat writing exams or speaking, the better it gets ingrained into your memory cells. Correct? It's not easy. Not as easy as you think. But it can be done. And if you do it on a regular basis, you won't require these techniques at all. You will forget the original picture. Straight away you will get, into, get that into your system. 1 to 10, I don't need the pictures. I can record it as it is because I have done it over the years. Correct? That original pictures will vanish. You will have only what you want to remember. 
that's how powerful your mind. The problem with us, especially in today's generation, we're so much latched on to the mobiles, we have no ability to use our cognitive skills at all. One day we'll all become dull-headed if we continue to do that. Doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you should not be using them, you should use them, not all. But simultaneously, work on your memory cells. Are they? <laughs> there are, they're, in, they're there in your system. They're meant to be used. If you don't use them, you will develop dementia, you will develop all kinds of Alzheimer's, you will develop all kinds of old age diseases. Remember, as long as I continue to do this, nobody can attack my health. Because, I'm always upgrading myself, updating my system. And even medically they say only 5% of your memory cells die. 95% still remains with you. It's only because you are not trying to use the system. This is already ingrained in your You are born by birth, you have the ability of so continue, I suggest that you please do it every now and then and the best book that I can suggest for this is how to develop, all these systems are given there, there are other systems also, remember names and faces, that's also given, <coughs> how to develop a superpower memory by Harry Louvain. And remember, nobody has become an expert by reading a book. Nobody becomes a good swimmer by just reading a book on swimming, right? Unless he dives into water, no, no possibility. So, just by reading this book, you will only know the techniques. Unless you apply that, you will not look magical when it comes to memory. Right? So, the true art of memory is the art of <coughs> attention. Unless you pay attention, you are not likely to improve your memory. Right? These techniques are there, not all. You can employ these techniques. Most of us have been doing it one way or the other. By, I mean, consciously applying the techniques, you will develop these techniques on a regular basis. I, even I too did not apply just because you have provided me this opportunity. You know, I learned this 20, 30 years ago. 20, 30 years ago. It's still resident in me. The technique is still, it's not died. I don't use it unless I want to make a speech. I never use it <laughs> because I have no exact right. Nowhere. If somebody wants me to remember, I remember. If I want to remember, in fact, this quote itself, the true art of memory is the art of attention. Just this evening I picked up. But you will be using unknowingly. Unknowingly. That is because it's already ingrained in you. Right? If you do it knowingly on a regular basis, there will be a time you will be applying these unknowingly. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right? I don't consciously apply these principles. But they happen. Yeah, any questions please? So mind mapping. Yeah, mind mapping is the same thing. Same. The mind mapping. This is called mind mapping. It's called visualizing. You are actually mapping the objects onto the pictures in your mind. So for every number, each number has a picture for me. Do you know that? I give you only up to 10. I gave only up to 10 for the, because of the paucity of time. For every number, I can create a picture. Are you like sectation limit or No. Any number. You want me to remember anything in 100? I have a picture of 100. How do I? That again is another subject. That again is another subject. It is called, uh, I mean, there's another subject. You have how numbers and letters are intertwined. I can give you that in a short while. I mean, just a few seconds, I'll tell you what each number represents. Yeah. What about the method of loci or what they call memory palaces? Similar to... What, lo what is the... Method of loci or memory palaces, they call it. Like yeah. Zero yeah, yeah, same, same thing. Ashta Ashtavdhani, we used to have Ashtavdhani earlier, no? They all apply the same thing. Ashtavdhani or whatever. <laughs> whatever you call it, right? Now, you may want to know very easy, okay? From 1 to 9, <coughs> each one of the digits is represented by an alphabet in the English language. 
right? One is represented by T. Don't ask me why. This is called phonetic line. It's been defined by somebody, right? You follow the system, and we don't ask why A should be written only like this, Kannada A, right? You accept it. It is given. It's come from time memorial. I cannot change R to it. No, why can't I write R in a different? Way? You can do. You can define your own language. Fine. One is T. I can give you an explanation why one has become T. You know how do you normally write one? If you invert one, it becomes T. I can even tell you the origin of this. Okay. Okay. Two. Two is represented by n. Why n? Two. Place it this way. Correct. Three is m. Three is m. Right. Again. Four is. We don't have any. Now, I mean, letters. Right? Huh? Four. For four, we have taken it as f o u r. What is the last point? Last letter. R. Four is represented by r. 5 is represented by the yes. S. S. No, not S. Can you recognize which, I mean, uh, European? Correct, <laughs> yeah. right. 5 is S. 6 is represented by J. It is a lateral inversion of the, in a mirror. When you show 6, it becomes J. Correct? I am giving you the explanation. 7 is represented by how do you write K? Capital K. 7 is represented by two sevens. One seven like this, another seven like this. Can you see that? 8 is represented by F. F has two roots. One here, one here. 8 also has two roots. 9 is represented by Again, lateral inversion it is P3. And 0. I need to know 0. Rest of it, 10 and more you can make up, right? Oh. No, 0 is 0 is Z or S. The spelling of 0 is Z E R O. Z. Z or S. 0. You write it as S E R O. Right? If you want 10, what are you going to do? P and S. Combine. What is the word that I can form using T and S? T and S? T S. Or toes. My toes. The object that you gave me 10, I put it on my toes. Traffic. Moving on my toes. My toe is paining. Can I not remember? Right? And about, how do you, what about 13? T and M. Toast masses. Toast masses. Toast masses. Toast masses. Toast masses. or tone. The word that I have is tone. T-O-M-B. Tone. B is silent. Right? T-O-M. Tone. Tone, what, what I placed that duster on the tone. What did I do? I went to the graveyard. Dusted all the dust on there. And one of the graves. Right? <laughs> yeah, of course we'll come. Right? What about 20? 20 is N and S. NLS, nose. I knock my nose against the mobile. I can recall easily, right? Right or wrong? That's all. And what about N and 24? In fact, beautiful, right? He gave me that. No, I'm going to. 24 is N and R. N and R is Nero. I have Nero. You know when Rome was burning, Nero was fiddling? Fiddler on the roof. <laughs> so in place of Nero, I put Novak Djokovic. He was fiddling. <laughs> Rome was burning this guy. <laughs> That's all. Right? 26. Or any word that you want. Okay? 29. N and P. Nap. I was taking a nap on Neptune. Right? Taking a nap on it. That's all. That's simple. 100. What is the word that I can form? T is absurd. T S S. Tough. Tough. 
toss with one and not toss again what happens is t and s are s and s are together you can represent only one unit you must have vowels can be used freely vowels don't represent any number any digit okay vowels can so the word that i have for this is thesis Pieces. So, one to number anything has hundred pieces, right? Ninety nine. P and P. Oh, or pop. Your pop. Think about your pet. Pop. I'll think about pop. Right? Any word I can form on this spot also. And once you form the original words, don't change those words. Don't ever. The original pegs should never be changed. Never change. Don't put your shoes in the bathroom. Don't put your towel in the shoe rack. Then your memory will fail. Everything has its place. Okay. Wish you all the best. Any other questions, please? You know, once I leave the, I mean, to the end. Fine. No questions. Yes, so. No, I don't think it has anything to do with numerology because I don't know anything about numerology as such. I, I believe in what is scientific. I think because it doesn't mean that I don't I don't know numerology, so I cannot say anything about numerology as such. So I believe once I mean a patient went to a doctor. He said, "Doctor, doctor, I have this problem of forgetting." And then he said. Since how long are you suffering from this problem? What problem doctor is <laughs> 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 <laughs>